In the last session, we have learned the multiplication tricks as per part 2. In this session, we shall take up part 3 for this multiplication tricks. Let's see what does part 3 says. Multiplication where sum of the tenths place is 10. In the last, it was units place was 10. And units place digits are same. See, it's interchanged here. Huh? In the last, it was what? Units place sum is 10. And tenths place digits are same. Here it is vice versa. Vice versa means what the no thing is. Sum of the tens place is 10 and units place digits are same. So say for example the number is 46 into 66. See here. 4 and 6. Tens place sum is 10 unit digits are same. Check out what is to be done here. Multiply the digits in units place. Units place. What are the digits? 6 into 6 what we get is 36 we will write it to the right hand side 36 then multiply the digits in tens place we will multiply that is 4 into 6 what we get is 24 and add the figure in units place and what whatever is the figure in the units place we have to add what is the figure in the units place 6 so 24 plus 6 what we get is 30 here right 30 to the left so 46 multiplied by 66 will be 3036. Another example. Take it as 39 into 79. Units place digits are same and the tens place sum means addition is 10. Let's see. First units place 9 into 9 is equal to 81. So to the right hand side we will write 81. Second step we will take up now. 3 into 7. 3 into 7 what we get is 21. Add the units place number. Units place is 9. So 21 plus 9 what we get is 30. Right here 3081 will be the answer. Calci not required. Another example. 76 into 36. Okay. Units place 6 into 6 is 36. To the right hand side we have written 36. 7 into 3 is 21 and add the units place number that is 6. So what we get is 21 plus 6 is nothing but 27. Write as 2736. That's all. This is how the multiplications have to be done. I repeat once again. Sum of the tens place is 10 and the units place numbers are same. In that case what is done? Units place you first multiply, we get the answer. Tens place you multiply, we get the answer. To this answer, add the units place figure what we have. Addition, right to the left hand side. The entire thing is the answer of that. That's all. Very simple are these uh, tricks. Fine. So in this session, we have learned the third part of multiplication tricks. In the next session, we shall take up part four of this multiplication tricks. Thank you.